Good morning, this is Dr. Kui Tai. Um, this morning, I'm at Dr. Goodyear's office and I'm about to have a tooth extracted just using self-hypnosis. And we're going to show you how easy it is. This is not the first time I've had a dental procedure done with no anesthesia. I've had two root canal procedures, each about two hours done uh, prior to this. I've had a complicated tooth extracted by Dr. Goodyear a few months ago and now we are removing this tooth which has a complicated root and also I want to remove the metallic amalgam in the filling. A lot of times in the dental office because this is unusual, the uh, people doing the procedure are more concerned than I am so I've had the experience where the dental assistant keeps saying oh I've never done this before and so I said well I don't mean to be rude I will not be talking to you as soon as I am ready I'm in a different place and so not to worry if it hurts I will raise my hand and of course that won't happen because I'm in my sacred space and enjoying the procedure. And one of the wonderful things is that when one is having a tooth extracted, you can use this as a healing opportunity by visualizing and placing all the negative emotions and all the negative energies within your consciousness and packing it in the tooth that will be extracted. And of course, when that is removed, all you've got left is good health and happiness. Now the key to this is to think of this as a treatment and the key word is treat. So you're actually giving your body a treat by extracting and removing something that is detrimental to your consciousness. In this case, my tooth which bears right now since I've already sent into the tooth all or any negative emotions that I might have been carrying thus far. So I am looking forward to the procedure. I am looking forward to leaving the dental office feeling wonderful. Okay. <coughs> now, you ready to go for this? Oh yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Now let's get going. Tip your head up just a little bit here. Just straight up. Yeah, I'm just going to take a look at this. Okay. Now. We're doing this next to the back tooth. And I have not given her any local anesthetic. I hope you don't mind me saying that. No topical anesthetic. I'm proceeding just like I normally would. The reason we're removing this tooth, I always think in my mind, is because she has a major bone loss in the bifurcation of the root. We measure the pocket in over eight millimeters. So, do a little pushing here. Yeah, I'll bite one of your butts for me. Good. Yeah. 
open just a little bit. Good. Now go ahead and bite. That's great. Great. Here's your tooth. The three rooted tooth up here is where we had the bifurcation involvement, right? It was all the way probably down to here where the bone was. This tooth, this root was totally embedded in bone. And then you had a silver filling. We call that a four surface silver, silver filling or amalgam in the tooth. But everything came out in one piece. Didn't have the problem that we had before. Now, the only thing that can create had a crack in the perca of this tooth. Which there is some sign of that that, that would create this pocket in just the one area of the tooth. And if you look there kind of closely, you can see a little bit of line. So, good. You want to take the tooth home with you? Okay. Now, this out. A little bit here. I'm gonna make sure you get, get you stop bleeding good. Okay. I'm sorry. Get my this glove caught in there all the time. Mm -hmm. All right. You okay? Mm -hmm. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. You did very, very well. Thank you. You did too. Thank you. I will testify that I gave her no topical <laughs> anesthetic, no local anesthetic. I gave her no pills before the procedure that I'm aware that you know that. That she took, so I think it's kind of a phenomenal thing. When I tell my peers, they drop their jaws. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, so. Give me a call, me a dentist. All right, thank you. Do you have any questions about anything? No, I'm good. The big thing is we just want to get the bleeding stop before we let you go to make sure a clot's being formed. You need to be careful today about chewing anything real hard or or crunchy in that area that can probably break the clot. Be careful about doing a lot of uh, head bends where your, your head gets way below your heart because that builds a lot of blood pressure in the head and neck and that can create you uh, oozing or, or bleeding a little bit. We don't want that. At least the first 24 hours, you can do anything you want to in the arm as long as you're not bleeding, okay? And you can eat anything you want to as long as you're not bleeding, okay? So. Basically, the principles behind it all. How does it feel for you to do this? I have to kind of psych myself up <laughs> to just treat this, treat you just like uh, I'd already known you. Mm -hmm. you know. So you're practicing self hypnosis as well. Probably so, mm -hmm. because uh, you know, there's, I have to, I have to think about not asking certain questions like, "Does this hurt? Mm -hmm. Did you feel that?" Mm -hmm. You know, do, you know. Uh, because you know, those are the things I would ask for a patient who had been anesthetized right. to make sure I had them fully anesthetized. Right. Because I didn't want to, I don't want to extract the tooth and create uh, a horrible, uh, painful experience for the patient. Right. We don't talk about the keyword. Yeah. Okay. So that's what. So that's. So I'm trying not to do that. You know, I'm trying to let you do your thing, and then I just act, and I act like kind of a ro robotic approach. Take do exactly what I'm been taught to do to extract the tooth. Mm -hmm. That's the approach I try to take. Right. Okay. And how do you feel about this? It's the first time she's experienced it. Yeah, I but wasn't the other, here the last time. Um, <laughs> I just, like Dr. Gidier said, I had to kind of prepare myself and just kind of think that you are numb, but you're really not, you know? She is numb by a different vehicle. Yeah, right, right. Without any anesthetic, yeah. And I felt the pressure, of course. Sure. I can feel it yeah. when you pull. You're using a little bit now, so yeah. that's fine. we got to get that. Sorry. Should I have to remove that? The old one put the new one in. It could be just salivary blood. Because salivary glands will really, uh, will, you, they, the salivary glands, your autonomic nervous system thinks that's a, a bolus of food, and so they're producing saliva, uh -huh. you know, just like you're eating. All right, here's your tooth. Thank, Thank you. And then here's your instructions. You're so relaxed. Here's your extra glass. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was quick, wasn't it? It was quick. Do you have any questions at all? No, I'm good. Thank okay. you very much. And you know, if you have any problems.